in gambling and all this. It's a big, big mistake. You got to reach out for better information. about easy money and easy winners. What are we have a conversation here? I am the source for all smart people. It's hard to scream when you look this good. Rashid, three underdog numbers, numbers, numbers. But these guys are jokers. Don't gamble on football. Invest in it. I'm so excited. Win the games outright, guaranteed. Oh! Even. Come here! You'll speak directly, directly to the man. I am the man! That's insanity! Jake, hey, it's Max. How's it going? Good. Good. What's the line on the Oakland game? Uh huh. What about the over? 42, are you serious? Uh huh. What about Miami? Game six and a half, and over 44. Yeah, yeah I can hold. Call you back? Okay, bye.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, listen. Give me uh, two dimes on Denver, over, and two dimes on Miami. Yes, $4,000. 4400 I know. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm good for a baby. Yeah, if I lose, I'm done until next week. Okay. Okay, talk to you later. Fucking bonkers. What'd you do? They're fucking nuts. How much, baby? Don't tell anyone. Yeah, how much, bitch? Four dimes. What? You heard me. What, on one game? No, you think I'm an idiot? Who'd you take? Uh, Miami and Denver over. And Jay took the bet. Of course he took the bet. He knows I'm good for it. Are you? Dude, you have problems. Well, here's the kicker, man. I have to go to breakfast with Bridget and her parents. What's the signal? Okay, uh, page me one one if I split, two ones if I lose both, and three ones if I win both. Three ones for winning both. Okay, I got it. Pray for me, bitch, man. I'm telling you, if I win, I'm getting this Miami jersey. Parking lot of pro shop. Pro, baby. Nice. Okay, I'll talk to you later. You're fucking crazy, man. I love you, too. You okay? Yeah, yeah. What? I don't know. You seem a little bit edgy. No, you know I hate Sundays. And we're about to have breakfast with the clacker lady. The call castanets. Get smokes? I have some. Don't question me, Juan. Please. Scores. Did you switch to digital? What are the scores, bitch? Denver 10, Oakland 3. Great, there goes two grand. But Miami's up by seven. What quarter? Second. Page me. Who are you talking to? What, on the phone? You don't think that I... You can be so cruel sometimes. Telling you, she has got the biggest nipples you have ever seen. Like, what? Like, what does big mean? Wide, tall, huge. <laughs> She's got, like, gummy bears standing on her tits. And this is a good thing. I will have her show you when she comes over. There's no rush on that. Oh, come on, baby, you should have had that! What does he need? Well, he's riding Miami to win by six and a half, huh? and he put some balbonis on Denver to go over. Well, bonies. Yeah, you know, you know, the bean, the mm -hmm. buck, the, the Cecil, the Charlie, the rock, the stick. What the hell are you talking about, dude? I just wanted to know how much you bet. Four grand. Four grand? Don't say anything. He's already living on credit. How the fuck is he gonna pay off a $4,000 gambling bet without putting a dick in his mouth? so beautifully. So how's it going? Fine. How are you? How's the acting? It was going good. I got a residual from that Silk Stockings episode that I did. Mm. One from a few years ago. Yeah, so things are good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't, don't forget to tell me about the movie that you're writing with Doug. Oh, yeah, well, I'm about halfway finished with this script I've been working on. Well, actually, my friend Doug's writing it. I'm gonna just act in it. Is that Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance? We might even get Jack Nicholson. That's neat. Yeah, it could happen. I don't want to you know, jinx it. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry, I guess I forgot to put it on vibrate. Aren't you gonna see who it is? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna run to the bathroom. I was gonna get down. Too much coke. So who was it? Oh, I didn't tell you about my family I keep in Utah. Little old Jimmy and Tommy and Susie. Where's my dad? That's neat. What? What is it? It's called wine. Oh, that's part of a healthy, balanced, nutritious breakfast. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, well, everything's fine. Yeah, feeling pretty good now. Hey, uh, listen, uh, what's what's the five o'clock game? It's a Chicago Green Bay game, right? What's the line? Man, he was this close to losing. Oh, it's a good thing he won because I don't have any more money to lend him. But I'll tell you what I do have. It's a picture of a big fucking nipple. Okay, I don't want to see that. gifts from God. Little gummy gifts. Listen, Bears. Tall and proud. It's Ooh! It's disgusting. Sick right here. Guess who they belong to? Jack Nicholson's manager's assistant. Get the fuck out. Swear to God. You know I'm trying to get my script to him. Uh, she's not allowed to accept scripts from anybody. Everybody always tries to use you for that. Dude, I totally understand. All I need is access. Two floor seats to a Lakers game. I'll do the rest. I don't know. If it comes up at all, you gotta try. Just look at the nap. Okay, okay you just look, no, no, look, no, no. Nap. look, just look at the nap. That was cool. What? Brunch was cool. You know what I love about having brunch with you and your family? It's your mother and the way she really makes an effort to communicate with me. And when she's not talking, she sits and listens to my stories really quietly. I love that. And Ron, he's got a really cool, calm, collected demeanor, and he treats your mother so well. But you know what I really love? The really the best part of the whole thing is whenever you drink. I love it. I mean, it's like you're in total control, you have all your emotions in order, and you become such a terrific... Pullover. said pull over. Oh, what? This is my fault now. I've done something wrong. God damn it! Pull the fuck over! What are you gonna do, walk home? Fine, walk away from your designated driver. Who be? Maybe. It's open. Let's score the Green Bay game. Come on. Let's score, bitch. Hey, buddy. Green Bay's up by 10. You didn't. Of course not. Max, you were way up. You're telling me you didn't fire a couple of nickels just for fun? Dude, I didn't bet. Dude, you were so full of shit. How was brunch with Adolf and Eva? Oh, God. Yeah, stupid. Oh, here's an update. Bitches, man, who wants the game? Oh, 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 tell. Is it a cold sore? Oh, Nicholson. Oh, oh, this girl that I'm seeing, <laughs> she has got the hugest Max. Name. She works for Nicholson's manager. Mm -hmm. Now, she can't accept scripts, but Nate's gonna work her for some floor seats, huh? So I can be down there, the VIP lounge, slipping the script. 
Where? That's what I'm talking about, babe. The ball is rolling. What are you wearing? What are you talking about? You smell good. I'm not wearing anything. No cologne? Thank you, freak. Get away from Dude, me. It's nice. About? What? Sheer fabric softener. Is it downy? I don't know. Grant does my laundry. Could I borrow him Saturday? Because I have a serious stain in one of my jackets and my tub could use a good scrubbing. What do you want? He offers. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think it's cool. You know, you got a roommate who does your laundry and uh, never goes out on dates. And his mother is the only woman he ever talks about. Come on, shut up. Your name's not. Kill the clock. Take a fucking knee. And so am I, bitch. Because you are looking at a man who is up 14 grand, baby! Yeah! Get the fuck out of here. Are you fucking crazy? I bet $14,000 on one football game. No, I bet four on this morning's game and ten on this baby right here. Okay, no, no, no. Hang on one second. You bet that much money when you were already up? Boom! And I can pay you both back Tuesday. And so, with this final play, the game will be... Whoa, no! Look at this! Uh, hit him! How many points did you get? Fuck. Okay, then Max, you can't give fuck in a football game. Nine. Right, so that's like... Oh, fuck. Yeah, maybe this will help, too. Hey. I make him swear to me. This is important, you know. I want to know what's up. Oh, not much. How was your day? Good. This is great. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you mind if I I'll get some more? Oh, sure. It's cool. How was brunch? Uh, you know, good. Castanets. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go lay down. You all right? Yeah. Marina. Buddy, it's Dad. I hope you're having a good day. Listen, I don't mean to be a pest, but...
but I keep getting those phone calls from the department stores and the credit card companies. And I know you plan on paying them, and that's terrific. But for Christ's sake, tell them to stop calling here. I'm not going to dig you out of this hole again, Max, no matter how many times they call. Look, I love you, Max. I mean, it's only, what, a couple of grand? Get a job. Max Henderson, please call Mrs. Whitmore regarding an important matter at 800 Hi, Mrs. Blickman. Hi, it's Max. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Dad said he saw you last week. How's Allison? No way. Really? Will you tell her if she needs to hear anything about Penn State, give me a call, okay? That's what going to college is about, you know. Learning responsibilities, taking care of your money, things like that. Hi, is Mrs. Walsh home? I got the money in an account in New York. Yeah, Merrill Lynch. Yes, yeah, so I was wondering if I could just borrow a little bit until next week. And then four or five days, the check's clear. So if Steve says it's okay, then it's cool? So if I don't hear from you, then I'll just see you tomorrow at five o'clock? Well, I have about $20,000 though right now, so that's not the problem. So, what is? Well, it's just that the time for the check to get here, and then the time that it takes for the check to clear is about a two-week process. Mm. And then I've been so preoccupied with auditions and uh, trying to finish the script that I lost track of time. I have rent due tomorrow, and I forgot the date on my phone bill. You know, and, and usually I like to keep some cash in my account, basically so I don't have to do things like this. So, um, you want $3,000? Yes, if, if that wouldn't be a problem. I mean, it would really keep me on course. Max, did your father know you're here? Well, um, honestly, I try not to get him involved in my personal matters, you know, um, especially financial, because I've been doing so well with budgeting myself lately uh, that it would probably throw the respect and all of the trust he has for me right out the window. I know it's an awkward request, and if you can't do it, I completely understand. Is the check okay? But Jack, don't you think our relationship is more important than a basketball? Honey, what you don't seem to realize is it's not just a goddamn game. It's about good versus fucking evil. It's about black. Versus fucking white. It's about fucking. It's fucking about. Fuck. Hello. Hey, Nathan, what's up, babe? Yeah. No, 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 I'm just uh, working on the script. I told you, it's called Floor Seats. No, this is why we artists don't talk about our material until it's finished. Yeah, because people like you mock the art. You know, it's not good to mock art in its growing state. What? No, wait, wait, okay, what, what kind of surprise? Okay, all right, no, 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 no. cool, that's good. Uh, uh, 9 o'clock? 8.30 is good? Okay, sure. All right, man, bye. Hi! You got tickets. He got fucking tickets. Nate, you got fucking tickets. He got fucking tickets. Okay, all right. Here we go. Jack, baby. It's about fucking priorities, baby. Uh, we'll cuddle in the goddamn 
off the season. since yesterday. Are you serious? Do you gamble? He denied it. But I can tell. Hey, uh, you have any cigarettes? By the phone. So... Um, Max is single. Just checking. You expecting someone? Look, um, I just want to say a couple things. Did something wrong the other day. I gambled. It was a stupid thing to do, and at least I can admit to myself why I did it and how I plan to pay it back and why I'll never do it again. I'm sure I was just going through one of my need to feel something real phases, and I picked a stupid way of going about it. Yep. And it was wrong of me to lie to you. Yep. I'm sorry. And you? What about me? Do you have anything you want to say? I'm sorry for jumping out of the car. It was really dumb. What? Is that it? Yeah. You want a written apology? What about the drinking? What? So that's what this is. Some big fucking lead in to get me to admit that I have a drinking problem? You do. I did drink a little yesterday. Morning. Afternoon. I'm not. An alcoholic. That's right. What would you say if I told you that we're through unless you get some help? Well, then I guess we're over. That's it. Just like that. Great. I'll try not to drink as much. How about at all? No, I'll just pace myself better. Bridget, if you love me, you'll go one month without a drink. You go one month without a drink, not even a tablespoon of cough syrup, and I'll never bother you about it again. That's so stupid. You can't even go a fucking month without a drink. Every once in a while, I enjoy a glass of wine. Then enjoy it after a month. Please. Fine. A month. You swear on Marino's life. I swear on my life. But you go a month without a bet. Hmm? Not even a lottery ticket. Be easy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that'll be easy because I don't have a problem. Mm. Fine. Fine. Okay. You call the
that a serve? Yeah, it's better than that underhand shit you're serving. At least I'm getting it over, aren't I? Yeah, well, watch this. <clears throat> mm. oh, shut up, Nate. You can't even play. I'll kick your ass any day. Well, come on, baby. I'm right here. Oh, oh. What are you doing? I won that last point. No, no, no. You're up 40-30. Nate, dog. Fine. So how's the cache hunt going? Net. Uh, pretty good. I got Jay taken care of. The rest are just family, friends, and credit cards and shit. Go, oh, girl. Fuck! How much you pay for this place anyway? About 180 a month. Are you serious? Yeah, good deal, huh? It's like three grand a year. Yeah, it's a junior membership I got when my dad used to belong here. Why doesn't he belong anymore? I don't know. I guess he can't afford it. So what's that? What are we? It's a uh, set point to you. Serve it, biatch. <clears throat> it all comes down to this. Max could really use this $200,000 purse, especially since this is a car that he can't afford. Wow, look at the concentration. What a competitor. Dog returns. Oh, Max races to the corner. These two have obviously played each other before. Dog with a nice lob. Oh, it's long. What an upset. Max wins. Max wins. Max wins. Nice match, old man. Yeah, nice match, baby. <laughs> Next time, I want to bring a handicap. Hi, Shirley. Oh, Max, <laughs> I didn't recognize you. Got a haircut, huh? Yeah. No, not you. I will call you back. I would like some traveler's checks, please. Hmm, going on a trip? Yeah, you know, the last two weren't long enough, so I figured I'd go on a really good one in Jamaica for 12 days. Mm, nice. Oh, 3,500, whatever denomination. So how are things going? Oh, fine. I'm really jet lagged. Does it usually take longer to get over jet lag uh, going or coming back? Oh, uh, uh coming back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, Max, your account is not going to be approved for this. W what do you mean? Oh, maybe you were late on a payment? I know what happened. I was in Holland last week. I sent in a check. The distance, you know, it probably got caught up in the mail. Hmm. How much did you send in? About $1,500. And how much did you want to get? You know what? Forget the 3500 I'm going to the bank anyways. I can probably get some uh, travel checks there or the post office next door. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, no, no, Max. Can you live with 3000 Yeah, my mom has the silly theories, you know, about sending checks in the mail, about putting her address on the check, like someone's going to steal her mail, then hunt her down after they cash her check. It's a little far-fetched, I know, but that's mom. About three hundred dollars. What? That's all I can give you. Look again in your thing there. These are solid gold from Tiffany's. Look. Yeah, it's also about thirty years old. I went in there right now, bought a brand new pair. Cost you seven hundred dollars. These are my grandfather's. And don't sell them. I need the money. I need to plant a tree in Israel in his honor. To so start a paper. You know, it's not that easy to start a paper route anymore. And even if it were, it wouldn't cover the cost of a cellular phone call. Pay cash. Side. In the bed, we're lying side by side. Oh, it's the loneliest feeling. That, that lonely feeling never left me. She, she left me before the feeling left me. That's the attitude. It's weird. I'm, I'm trying to give you examples of what a horror she was. <laughs> hey, Larry. Uh, I have to face my crazy. So, yeah. So you're the most important man in the world. Yeah, and a lot of people know that you're named Dan's crazy ball crazy. Grant. Yeah. What's up? Nothing. Just got back from Bridget's. Yeah. And how did it go? Uh, you know, good. 
you mind if she comes over later? You uh, come in a sec. I just, I didn't know if you were. Wow. Uh, listen, this, this is really not that big a deal. I just, well, this is the second week in a row that Bridget or, um, or you, I guess, have taken my wine from the rack without asking. I restocked it. Well, I bought a bottle with Ariel two days ago, and it's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no big deal. It's not the wine. That's not the point. It just, you know, it'd be nice if she asked. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I did have a talk with her about her drinking, and I'm hoping. Look, it's not that big a deal, Max. I'm... But it is kind of obvious that she drinks. I know. She's kind of had that problem since high school. Just be honest with her. That's all you can do. Yeah. Are you uh, still betting on sport games these days? Sport games? You know, football or uh, whatever. No. no. Why? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. Well, every Sunday, if there's football on, you're either on top of the world or you're beyond the reach of Prozac. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. I never really had a problem with it. Okay. I just want you to know you can talk to me about it if you want to. Okay. Listen, I hope you're not... No, oh, not at all. Um, I appreciate what you said about Bridget. Is there anything else? Don't you think it's a little risky? Dude, I promise you, she will never know. Look, if she ever found out, my tickets, my plan, Max and my entire career will be fucked. Would I let that happen? Probably. I swear to God, you've got to see him. Oh, dude, I can't be the only one. If you see the gummies, I'll get the tickets. If she even gets close, I will scream. I'll be like, ah, and just take her out of the room. Trust me, this is going to be the most awesome thing you have ever seen. Here, take this case. You get a little thirsty. Jesus. My friend, in five years from now, you're going to look back at this moment if we don't take advantage of it, and you're going to say, fuck! If only I had had a little fun that night at Nathan's house. Why didn't I just see him? But you will have seen him, and you're going to look back at this moment, and you are going to say, wow! I am so glad I saw the nipples, because I'll never forget them. Moment is here, Doug. Dude, the time is now. Don't let it slip away. You swear you'll get the tickets? I swear to God. Fine. <laughs> That's the Doug I know and respect. Go, Dougie, get busy. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Huh? What's up? <laughs> Not much. I brought dessert. <laughs> Are you sure this is gonna stick? Be patient. You sound like your father. I do? Materials and assemblies, sophomore year. Right. I took that class. Oh, yeah, you took that class. 
Yes? Why aren't you using your miter for the cuts? Well, because I've got a steady hand. Unlike some people. Uh, funny. Try and finish. I gotta go soon. I thought we were gonna go and have a beer after. Hmm. I just stopped by to help. I've gotta go by 9.30. Is everything okay? What do you mean? You don't have to leave by 9.30. No, I do. I have to go get... So, how is your dad, anyway? Hmm. He's good. And Mom? Yeah. She's good, too. You know, the usual. Come visit. Get married. You should finish the catwalk. You should have a beer with me. It's not that simple. Okay. <laughs> Lovely blanket. Yeah. I'm stuck in Nathan's closet. Pick up the fucking phone. Burn yourself. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, man. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. You going to the Lakers game tonight? No, I can't. I gotta get home early. ESPN. Ah, uh, college football. Yeah. So I guess you won't be taking anything tonight? No, no, definitely not. Here you go. Thank you. They're all large? Pretty much. Listen, Max, I want to talk to you about something. Sure. I'm kind of concerned with the way you've been betting lately. I know I have a lot of your money right now, and it might seem like I'm trying to go out on a high note with you, but uh, I really think you need to slow down. Maybe next time you're losing, if you try chipping away instead of trying to get it all back at one time. You know, it's up to you. I'll take your bet either way. You understand, right? Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Matter of fact, um, why don't we pick a number for bet not to go over? <laughs> nah, we don't need to do nothing. No, seriously, I want to. What do you say, grand? Okay, one dime, tops. Cool. So who do you like tonight? College football. Laker game. Who are we playing? 
Pistons. I'd take the Lakers. And I didn't mean as a bet, you know? I was just wondering. Yeah, the Lakers. Yeah, me too. Take it easy, Max. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Did you miss me? How's your kid? Huh? Your kid ain't well. Huh? Why don't you take a look by the window? What happened? I have no idea. Why don't you ask your kid? Oh, what did you eat today? Hmm? Do you have one of Grant's tomato juices? Hmm? Do you think this is funny? Please tell me you're kidding. About what? Your attitude. Well, it's fucking annoying to come home and walk into a fog of shit. Yeah, well, it's fucking annoying to come home to a roommate who's jumping down my throat all the time, too. Oh. Yeah, that's me, mister, jumping down your throat. Well, I guess when I'm not cleaning up your messes or cooking you dinner when you have no money to buy yourself something to eat, I'm just so demanding. Well, you think I taught the dog how to do that? Trained him to shit in the floor when I'm gone? No. But you don't have to joke about it. You just have to clean it up, or something. It's getting old, Max. Then move out. Fuck you. Hey, sorry I'm late. Where's mine? <laughs> you fucking stupid. So where were you? Well, after taking care of a couple things, I went back to my place, fought with my gay roommate, and sopped up Marino's running shit for about 20 minutes. That's a full day. Did Grant go off? What do you think? Hi. Need Hello. more time? Yeah, just one minute, please. Not a problem. I'll get you some bread while you wait. Thank you. And a menu, please. Well, before you read that, why don't you read this? No way. <laughs> How rough is it? Well, it could use another pass or two, but I really feel good about this. The story is clear, and Jack can read this draft and feel confident to commit. Oh, I made your part bigger, too. You got three more scenes with me. I can't wait to tell my lines. Well, you can't. Because I need to take this one with me to the game tonight. No way, you got the tickets. You got the tickets. It's the main eyes. You got it. And I want to take Bridget with me. Really? Excuse me, hold on. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. Come on, think about it. Jack loves women. Having Bridget with me is a key part of the plan. What's the plan again? We're sitting one seat away, you know? So I send him a drink. And then strike up casual conversation during a timeout in the second quarter. Spring the pitch during halftime. Jack doesn't even hang out on the floor during halftime. I know. That's when Bridget talks her way, our way, into the forum club where he does hang out, continue the storyline. Then I spring the script on him in the beginning of the fourth quarter. You know, in case it's a blowout and he leaves early. So. And I'm not gonna be there, but my girlfriend is. Makes perfect sense. Oh, you wanna be alone with Doug, is that it? I'm trying to help you in your lagging career, which is more than you've done for it. Thank you, honey. Mm. Look, you gotta trust the plan, man. It's foolproof. Are you guys done? Why you have something better to talk about? Let's go ahead and ask Doug what he did last night. Oh, okay. all right. What'd you do last night? Uh, okay. Let's. Why don't we just wait to talk about that? Why? Huh? What? Oh, she doesn't care. It's okay. I know about the nipple girl. What? I do. Bye, funny people. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. So, Bridget, I'll pick you up around 6.45, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. You two are making me sick. Today's the first day of the rest of your life, motherfucker. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You want some cash for tonight? No, thanks, Pimp Daddy. I just thought you might want some money since you're doing us a favor by going to the Laker game on a Saturday night. Well, I like to help where I can. So, uh, how's it going with the drinking? Fine. You gonna be able to go a month? Do I have a choice? What does that mean? Well, if I drink, then we're over. Being that I love your skinny ass. So 
What are you doing? Making love to you. Oh, I can't. I have to pick my mom up at dance class in 30 minutes. Oh, come on. I just want to be with you for a little bit. Come on. I really can't. Oh. I'm just trying to finish up this design and tape a special on 1070. You want to go see a movie tonight? I hear the re-release of Raiders is pretty good. Yeah. What time? I don't know. I'll call 777. I really appreciate you doing this. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fun. All right. Do you remember the plan? Um, if Jack's not responding to you, then we hope he responds to me. You're a genius. Can I just say something? Um, I hope you don't think I'm some, like, weird, creepy, little pervert freak for doing that whole nipple thing last night. It was just, it was a stupid thing. No, and they... no, no, don't even worry about it. I'm thinking less of you than I already did. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, um, can I ask you something? They were fucking huge. <laughs> no, no, not that. How do you think Max is doing? How do I think? Max is doing? You know, with his gambling career, that sort of thing. Well, uh, you see him as much as I do. In fact, you see much more of him than I would care to see. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, I haven't seen his penis in at least five years. So. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. Look, um, I know we're gonna be hanging out tonight, but, uh, I'm not going to start talking shit about one of my best friends. I didn't say anything about talking shit. I just, you know, I just want to know if you think he's happy or not. I think he's happy with you. And? And I think he's going to be happy once he takes care of some of the other shit. Like what? Like when we make this movie. That's why. Because we go into the show, baby. Hey, 
Hello? Hello? Gloria. Hi. How are you? Ah, that's great. That's great to hear. Well, um, I'm expecting a check for my New York account any day now. And it'll take probably a day to clear, and then I'll bring it right to your house. Cash. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I don't think that at all. No, I appreciate you looking out for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, hey, remember, if you ever need anything, uh, you just give me a call, okay? Yeah, uh, okay. You tell Mr. Walsh I said hello. Okay. up on some bills. Cool. So, um, what time's the movie? Mm. Shit, I forgot. Can we make, make it up to you some other time? Sure. No problem. Grant. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Do you, um, has it ever... Do you think of men... Do you think of men... Like sexually or some other way other than being a friend? Where is this coming from, Max? First off, Grant, I don't want this to uh, ruin our friendship or our uh, living arrangements. I just want you to know that um, if you ever had thoughts of being gay or something, that uh, it's fine with me. You know, I, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I'll always be here for you. I mean, as a as a friend. Are you saying that you uh, think I'm gay? Because I'm not gay. I was, then I would be able to deal with it and I would tell you, you know, as opposed to you having to tell me, okay? Okay. Okay, secondly, I, um, I like women a lot. I mean, you've, uh, you've seen the Jenny McCarthy and the Elle McPherson uh, screensavers I have on my computer, haven't you? Yeah, I've, I've seen them. Well, then I would think that you would know that I find women very attractive, Max. And that I have all of my life. Surprise, and... I'm not quite sure where this is coming from. I mean, I don't know. Is this your reasoning or your um, excuse for the way I do things or the way that I am? I wanted you to, to know that I didn't think... I cannot believe it. I mean... Uh, how long has uh, it been going on? Who else thinks that I love you? I mean, A lot of times Jack doesn't show up for the first half. Crowds, stuff like that. Don't you work? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Would you like another rum and coke? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, just a question. When will Jack be here? Jack? <laughs> Nichols. He should be here. This is where he comes when he comes, right? This is where they all come. This is where they all come.
Look, man, we need to talk, okay? I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It's, it's, that wasn't my place at all. Grant? Halftime's over. My life is over. Halftime's over. Not at the seats, huh? Nope. I thought he came to every game. What moron asshole gave you that idea? I'm thirsty. Can I get you something from the bar? A lie. talent manager. Okay. He's here with Faye Dunaway. He manages her. Yeah, I loved Faye. And Mommy Darius. I'm bigger. I'm better. And I'll always beat you. Huh? Leaving, so she let me inside. Oh. Your card was declined. It's for like ten dollars. Sorry. You have any cash? Things fly around in the side of the car. Window has to be carved just a little bit. Not too much. Just enough for the ashes to fly free away from the vehicle. You're right. I know. So, let me get one thing straight. He did or he did not ask you out. didn't make a move. Nope. No moves. No moving. Moving. It's not moving. <laughs> Just drinks. Yep. But only, only one or two. And they both had juice in them. Douglas. Well, what's that? Well, Max and I kind of have this thing going about me having some alcohol there and there. I look, I'd really appreciate it if you just wouldn't say anything. Please don't ask me to lie. No, no, no. You don't have to lie. Just don't go out of your way to bring it up. I didn't drink that much. It could really cause a lot of problems in our relationship. Please, 
Okay, but if he asks, I'm just going to tell him that I, I couldn't notice, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Douglas. You're helping Max more than you know. Careful, okay? Yo, why haven't you called? I was just about to. I dropped Bridget off, and I just walked in the door. So what happened? There's good news and there's bad news. Give me the bad. Jack wasn't at the game. And there's good? Faye Dunaway was there, and she's totally interested. She's going to read it next week. All I have to do is make a couple of changes. A couple? OK, so the lead character is now a woman. But, but, but she's totally interested, all right? I mean, I, look, I'll send a copy to her manager. He was also at the game. And you talked to him, too? Well, I didn't really. Bridget did most of the talking with him. I mean, she got the whole thing rolling. She did? Yeah. Yeah, he was taken with her. Next thing you know, we're in, baby. That sounds great. So, Bridget's home? Yes. Cool, I'm going to give her a call. I'll talk to you later, OK? You know what? You, well, why don't you just wait a little while? Because I, I think she's taking a shower or something. Late. OK. Bye. Hi, Kim, it's Max. Hey, what's up? Oh, not much. Is Bridge there? Oh, uh, she's lying down. What do you mean? I don't know. She doesn't feel well or something. Well, she's not showering? No. Why? No reason. Just tell her I called. Okay, bye. Bye. Motherfucker. Max, open up. I know you're here. I saw your car. Come on. Bridget. Bridget, come on. I know you hear me. Come on, you want me to yell at the whole neighborhood your problems? She's an alcoholic. A big, fat one. You like that? Kimberly, come on. Fuck. Man, you're a lying piece of shit. We're through, you know, we're through. I need some, uh, some, some, some police and some ambulances and shit. Yeah, I think my, my girlfriend, she, I think she committed suicide. Yeah, she's been threatening to do it all day, and I left her about an hour, and I came over here, and she won't answer the door. And the lights are off. Look, I got a really bad feeling about this. You need to kick down the door. Where's your keys? I don't have any. This isn't your residence? No. Bridget? Bridget? Are you in there? This is the LAPD. If you can hear me, you really should reply. Kim or Bridget, if you can hear me, you have one minute to reply before we take further and more serious action. Really? No, but I have to say something. How long have you heard me knocking? I don't know, five, ten seconds, maybe? What? Where is she? In my room. I want to sink to the bottom with you. I want to sink to the bottom with you. The ocean is big and blue. I just want to sink to the bottom with uh, you. Do you need cigarettes? Cars on the highway, planes in the air.
Jay. Hi, it's Max. How you doing? Good. Has the Hawaii game gone off yet? What's the line? Look, man, this is what I want to do. I'm about to move to New York, and I'm about to sell my truck, so I have some money to make a bet. I just want to make one bet. I don't want to chip it away or anything like that, okay? You with me? Okay, listen, this is what I want to do. I want to bet 15 dimes on the Hawaii Rainbows minus seven. Yeah, I know. I know. You gonna do it or not? Hey, Max, what's going on? Not much. You mind plugging into Prime Sports after Sports Center? No, what's on, uh, Hawaii? Yeah. What you got? Flying pretty rainbows, of course. So what do you think? Here? Uh, I think San Diego State might cover. Personally, I wouldn't touch it. These whack games would kill me. It is kind of obvious that she drinks. You gotta close in 10 minutes. You gonna drive? No. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. Who wants the rest of the game down to O'Malley's if you want? No, that's okay. I'll, I'll catch it back in my apartment. Uh, I can't find my wallet. You lose it? Uh, it's probably back in my apartment. Um, can I get you next time? Yeah, no problem. Was he there the whole time? I don't know. 
He just came home and found him, I guess. Unbelievable. It's just... They had their little falling out, and it's the last time he saw him. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. How are you doing? Have better days? But keeping a sense of humor about it, that's, that's a good sign. A sign of what? It wasn't your fault. Are you, are you gonna call his parents? I don't know. The cop told me to go to the station about an hour and identify him. It's, it's gonna be okay, man. It's gonna be all right. You didn't do anything wrong, all right? I could really be alone right now. Oh, yeah, man. Sure. Um, Marino's upstairs. Could you get him? No problem. Thanks for meeting me. I'm your girlfriend. Are you okay? I think so. Doug told me a little about what happened. Yeah. I uh, was depressed, so I felt the need to, to uh, vent. I guess we were right. Look, I could really use your support right now. Of course, Max. Because uh, I need some time, a little space to figure out some shit. What are you saying? I'm just saying that I need some time alone. Is this about last night? I was sleeping. I just, I was really tired. I passed out. Bridget. So Grant kills himself, and you're just going to punish everyone around you and just run away? I'm not running away. I just can't live like this. Like what? Like this. Like us. You're being so fucking selfish right now. Fuck you. No, you are. Everything always has to be about you and how you feel at the end of the day. 
other people hurt from this, Max. I love you. Don't do anything stupid. Sure you want to do this? Would you rather pay me the full 15000 in three days? No, no, I guess not. Why only half, though? It's enough to clean my slate. You're not going to join a cult or nothing. I appreciate this. Here it is, three thousand one hundred dollars. We we don't want any interest, Max. Oh, I insist. It took me a week longer than I said it would. No, really, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. So, uh, is everything else okay? Oh yeah, things are going great. Auditions are picking up, and there's a script we might do with uh, Faye Dunaway that's looking pretty good. Would you mind stepping into the other room for a second? Three thousand dollars is a lot of money to get together in a moment's notice, Max. And is there something going on with you? Is any way we can help? Like what? Oh, uh, a drug problem. Drug problem? Y you can talk to us, Max. We'll keep it very private. I don't have a drug problem. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I can't... Look, um, I appreciate the money, uh, and, um, the concern and everything, but really, I'd be honest with you, I, I don't have a battle with drugs. It's okay, Max. It just doesn't seem right for us if we don't check this out with you. I understand. Um, is there anything else? No, that's all. Okay, well, I I'm sure I'll see you soon. Oh, it's okay. Um, I can find my own way. You know what? I do have a problem. See, I, um, I borrowed and, and, and lied and cheated and stole and manipulated and, and borrowed some more and risked everything. I just, um, appreciate your concern and the thought that you deserve to know. I have a gambling problem. 